Jesus. <laughs> Doesn't that art look cool? Evocative of um the um the box art on Final Fantasy twelve International Zodiac Job System that I got in Japan. Uh, like I said, I haven't touched this game. Need to make sure that the audio okay the audio does seem to be a bit much so let's go to audio let's take that down to seventy five seventy five with well, the music seventy five let's bring that down to sixty five seems all right it just seems a bit loud I'll bring it down to okay how about 45 okay that's that's more in the range that I'm comfortable with all right let's get it let's get it Select level of difficulty. Beginner, normal, or hard. I guess uh, normal. Can you see how it's slightly moving? Reminds me of like um, hard. <laughs> Hello, life is a spectator sport. There is no way I'm starting a brand new game on a hard mode. Like I'm just, I'm just a scrub. At heart, I'm a scrub. I'm just taking it in as well. No, I, I refuse. I refuse. I, I got. <sighs> you reckon hard instantly? You you know what? Like I've taken a lot of your suggestions, and half the time, like they've proven to be, like just they didn't vibe well with me. So I'm I'm gonna have to make a a, a um, captain's call on this one. We're, we're doing normal. What's probably going to happen is, on the very first stream of a game I've been in, anticipating for months, at this point, what's going to probably happen is I'll do hard mode, get my shit pushed in, and be fucking salty the rest of the stream, and just, it will turn out to be a shit stream. And do I want that for myself? Absolutely not. You'll never get true mileage. Well, for this one, I'm not quite sure what to make of this game. I'm not quite sure what to make of it. Which is why I want to start off with normal. If it turns out to be just like this uncut gem, this brilliant game, there might be replay replayability in it, who knows. I know, life, you're just here to sabotage, yes, yes. We're doing it. Mm. Don't you like the art style? I love it. That's that's what drew me to this game, as well as the fonts, as well as the choose your own adventure aspect baked into this game. Of course, all games you know have their flaws, but you know we'll see what happens. Yeah, I'm guessing, um, look, I'll all right, it's fine. So, in the end, you are here. There's a floor that's covered in sand, a ceiling that's orange-like, and a salad bowl turned upside down, which is also very large. What's that? Give me some poetry, I paid big money for this game. Yeah, don't waste time on words. Illiteracy or death? I know everything already, just start this thing. No, no, we're, we're definitely doing this one. Oh, it's got an option one, two, three. Maybe instead of clicking with the mouse, I'll do the, the numbers. We'll just check. As the first sun, the giving lord, leaves the embrace of the ever-changing hazes on the far horizon, only the gulfs of shadows cast by the sacred trees 
Give some shelter from the heat to the people of the desert, and only the glass domes protect them from the colossal winds. Let me just check. Okay, no, one does work nice. Yet, of late, on the branchways of Pantella, suspended on the long, suspended on the tall arms of the Kinami tree, and worming between its roots, a vague disquiet walks amongst the people. Walks among the people? And wary eyes look suspiciously at the shadows. Sketchy enough? This artwork, ooh, I love it. At the dawn of the harsh master, the second son, a sleepy city clerk named Citrani is unceremoniously brought to the house of Cosme Cosmio Smith, the pragmatist of the brown leaves, the ruling council of the city. Obviously, the blue things are like, you know, key things that I need to remember, but I'm not going to remember them. We're just going to wing it. Okay. I'm going to go for number one again. Second son? Well, it's always too early to meet the council. Ah, the clerk's a trani. Come in, come in. I had a little time this morning. Your gardener supervisor sent your name to my attention. Um, maybe that was my character sleeping in the hammock. Hm. And that's a good thing, right? Cosmio Smith waves off the clerk's comment. Yes, yes, I was told you are quite the efficient tree caretaker. But I'm more interested in your loyalty and wits here. Hmm. Do I be a smartass or do I go straight to the money? Two. Is there any pay involved? Youngsters these days. You don't even know what this is about. Trust me, they'll never find the bodies. Okay, now this is like fourth wall breaking here. Hmm. I'll do two. Bodies? Wait, wasn't Citrani supposed to be the hero? I want to see if I can pronounce that correctly. I'm saying Centrani, but it's Citrani. Citrani. Again with the interruptions. Oh, this artwork. Well, not exactly a hero. How to put this kindly? Citrani is more fluid than that. So, basically a criminal. Ah, if only. No. Let's say you have the time to save him from careless, self-damaging behavior most of the time. Ah, okay. An idiot. Damn. I think fool is more apt. Let's get back to the story, right? You better. The councilman dismisses Citrani's comments about his wages with a shrug. He continues, I'm sending you out on a mission. What is this, fallout? What? Out? You really don't mean... Citrani gobs uncomfortably. Cosmio Smith continues, You see, a caravan was sent to the Dome of Broomtown. It were too diplomatic attaches to mediate a treaty of commerce and safe passage. It was due there a month ago. It never arrived. The truth be <laughs> the truth the truce with brooms with broom? Hmm, why is that a posh for you? Maybe that's like some sort of like slang or colloquialism. Whatever. And interestingly, I can see something bottom here oh more okay, okay okay anyway the truce with broom is tenuous at best a melakui melakui is not far enough for my taste the councilman pierces the trani with his gaze we need the diplomats found alive or dead and their documents the proof that their delay or demise is not our fault Broomtown? Melakui? You can't spit all these names at me. 
What a thankless job is mine. Okay. Broomtown. Major export. Sweeping brooms. Very useful with all the desert around. Milakwi. Actually, I don't know. Okay, the thing is, they are just two plot devices. So will I, or will I not visit them? Um, no. But, oh, whatever kind of city they might be, and where if fate would toss them on a map, they would have been magnificent. With a lot of side quests and adventures. Um, are you sobbing? Why are you sobbing? Please tell me about the story. Um, where was I? Ah, yes. Cosmio Smith continues. Start on the tracks for Broomtown westward. A lone man is more difficult to be spotted and has more chances to escape nomad raiders, if found, than a large party. Be right back, no problem, life. Um, I don't know. It's a mixture. It's a mixture of, um, this text and, uh, gameplay. I I've seen the gameplay on the Steam store. The councilman hesitates gravely, then. I like you, boy. But either you find them, or don't trouble yourself to get back. This is a mission of great importance. So, no pressure. But first things, eh, but first things first. You'll need a desert suit and a serious rebreather mask, boy. Your normal air filters cannot take you long distances. Only nomads and custom-made suits and masks can stand the desert's hell. So, you'll have my equipment. Ah, uh, I don't deserve the honor. Nonsense. This guard here will escort you to the Underroot storage quarters where you will have unearthed those items from under the pile of other junk we brown leaves have stashed there in the years. The least we can do to make sure you don't face the desert unprepared. Yes, unprepared. When you will return from the underroots, this letter of credit will be waiting for you. This same guard will then accompany you to buy provisions for your travel, then he will see you off to the gates, so don't worry. Worry? What's... Uh, two. Wait, underroots? What are they? Oof. Luckily, the intro is almost finished. The underroots are an area under the Konami tree, or any giant tree, really, excavated by the mighty rhizomes of these rare miracles. Easy with the botany, though. The underroots, either excavated by hand or by roots, are an underground tunnel complex that is used as storage area and sometimes occupied by the derelicts of the tree society who don't have any other place to go traded in botany for sociology i see deep breath what i take a what about i take you back to citrani and for the rest of the game we pretend not to know each other yeah yeah that's the brightest thing i've heard you say so far the councilman is undeterred by Citrani's faint protests. There's nothing more to be said. May the tree grant you speed. As Citrani is dragged out by the guard, Cosmio calls for his secretary. Show in my next appointment that persuader character. Damn, this day, this day gets better and better. Assuader. Ass Persuade? Persuand? Asuanda. Asuanda. Well, for me, it's literally the opposite, it seems. The guard escorts a dismayed cloak down through branching stairways to the ground floor of the town, where a wooden gateway to the underroots stands in a shaded plaza. Come on, cloak. A rebreather mask and an old desert suit are hardly a difficult thing to find. Wait, I think I forgot the tap water tap running. All the more reason to do this job quickly, then. In you go. The guard motions to try to enter. I'll wait here for you to do your bureaucratic job. Well, provided you get back before the sun sets. Not smart to walk around at night time this close to the desert. Good luck. Enter the underroots. Alright. Controls and mechanics. 
These panels explain the game's controls and mechanics. You can walk through them by clicking on the arrows at the bottom right. Hmm? You can exit it at any time by clicking on the cross button. Hmm. At the top left. Also, escape can be pressed to skip a single panel. These are your movement controls. Left mouse button, click on the arrows. Okay, so we have to click on these to move in the game. And compass. So south and north, blah blah blah. With the left mouse button, click on the mini map or press M on your keyboard to access the large map. feel like I should <laughs> be taking some notes. Uh -uh. Okay. Um, you can use the keys, um, okay, W, S, Q, E, A, D, R. Okay, to move around. Okay, that's good. So CSGO controls basically, or you know, you most PC games use the um, WSAD. Oop! I pressed one by accident. Okay, so AD strafe, QE, left, right turn. Okay, sure, sure, sure. No, we're not going to be using. No, we'll be using. CSGO controls, that's nice. Okay, welcome to the Aeon of Sands. We've got the map there. This is Citrani, your main character. You can click with the left mouse button on his portrait to access his inventory. You can have up to three characters in your party. When you have more than one character, click and hold any portrait with the right mouse button to drag it over to another portrait to swap the character's positions in the party roster. Okay. All your characters walk in a line. The first one will get more damage from enemies in front of the party. The last one will get more damage from enemies in the back. Okay. Health, stamina, and mana bars. Hover over them with the mouse pointer to see their number values. Might as well make a note of that. So, mini map. That's M. Then you've got health, stamina, and mana. So, basically, oblivion. Okay. Okay, interesting. So, health is health. Decreases when taking damage. Oh, Chronomagus. Sorry, I only just saw that. Can I add alt tab? Damn it, I can, but. Big shout out to you, Chronomagus. Were you doing that new one, Innocent Life? In any case, I hope that you had a good stream, dude. Um, and I, I saw that you posted something in your Discord that um, you might be uh, approved for something. I, I don't want to spill too much information out there, but yeah. Um, I hope that you get it, yeah. Tough out there trying to find new property. Alright, um, sorry, where was I? Um, that's right. Gotta go back one. Yeah, we're starting a brand new game. Uh, again, I hope that your uh, stream was good. Um, Aeon of Sands, The Trail. It looks like a mixture of um, visiting later today. Good, good. Yeah, like, I'm not sure it's, if it's a situation where, like, um, you just need a place and it doesn't matter where, um, or if you found, like, a really nice one. Um, yeah, it seems like... Um, where I am, like, you, you take what you can get in terms of, like, you know, um, you know, rentals, but, um, yeah. 
Yeah, you you did you did start. I think you started two games, didn't you? One was called Innocent Life, I think, and the other one was a different one. Yeah. But yeah, productive streams are always a good stream. Um, so Aeon of Sands: The Trail is basically like a choose your own adventure and um, mixed in with some old school dungeon crawlers sort of games that I I haven't played. Um, you know, like um, Might. Might and Magic, I think is one. Um, Eye of the Beholder, Wizardry, those sorts of things. I think it's um, very heavy on that sort of um, stuff. MH Freedom. MH Freedom. I probably should know the acronym, but... Yes. The health bar indicates the vitality, sure, sure, but then it regenerates over time. And you can recover with food, water, and medicinals. That's pretty cool. Oh, Monster! Of course. Like, uh, several streamers um, that I follow are currently doing Monster Hunter runs. And it's like... Like, I, I can... I think old school Monster Hunter was really cool. Really cool. But then um, the new ones... Um, they suffer the same fate as a lot of um, other newer games. Like, they slide into mobile game territory, microtrans you know, cosmetic upgrades that you can get, and it doesn't have the grittiness of the old school Monster Hunters. That's just my opinion. That's when I was looking at, um, I think it was, uh, what's his name? Damien Haas. He was streaming Monster Hunter recently, and uh, what I saw, I just thought, mm, nah, nah, no thanks. <laughs> at zero hit points, a character dies. There is an exception when that character is Satrani, and he has at least one companion. Okay, then he can be unconscious. Okay. But if it's just me, and it's zero hit points, then I'm dead. Okay, sure, sure. Stamina. Okay, performing actions. Well, freedom is basically the first one, slightly enhanced. Oh, so like, um, what do you call those? Not a remake. Oh, I guess you could call it a remake. Remastering. Interesting. PSP. If it's for the PSP and not for, say, the PS5 or anything like that, then I'd be interested to take a look at your VODs. Yeah, just the, the new one that he was playing, I think it was on the PS5. Didn't grab me at all. Stamina indicates the possibility... Okay, so actions. Okay, and that also regenerates over time. Sure, sure, sure. The desert is full of magic energy called mana. Air, water, magma. Yes, I think it was Monster Hunter Rise. Yeah. Like, I, I was watching his streams when he was doing Stardew Valley, and those streams really sucked me in. Like, I, I really wanted to play Stardew Valley, but... Yeah, Stardew Valley just seems like a perfect stream game. Seems like a lot of farm-slash-management games are. But, yeah. Hmm. Oh, okay, okay. It's enabled by... Okay, there's three types. Air, water, magma. So. Sure, sure, sure. Mana intoxication. Oh, okay. You can get poisoning from using too much mana. Okay. I mean, um, casting too many spells. Interesting. Okay, right hand, melee range only. Left hand, shield, ammo... Da, 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 da. Okay, so basically, Citrani is a righty. And we don't have control over that. That's interesting. Whatever. It's, it's whatever. You can grab items from the floor and drag them onto the character's hand. A usable hand slot. A usable hand slot will then be highlighted. A few spelling errors there. If you drag and drop on the character's point, the character's backpack. Sure, sure, sure. It might happen that someone attacks you. Then you can press 1 on your keyboard or click the rice mount. Okay. Yeah. So I'm probably going to do CSGO controls here. So rather than press 1 to attack, um, right click 